All right, welcome to episode number two from our chapter 2B menu. And then in this episode, we're going to talk about hydrocarbons and functional groups. Now, a hydrocarbon is exactly what the word is telling you that it is, okay? The hydro, that refers to hydrogen. Uh, nice spelling. There we go. And then the carbon, you guessed it, that refers to carbon. Oh! So therefore, this is a basic carbon compound in which it's made out of only carbon and hydrogen. Now, one of the things we want to know about hydrocarbons is they are naturally nonpolar, which means they will not dissolve or get along with water very well. Okay, so over here we have one of the most basic, we have the actual, the most basic hydrocarbon in the world. It's called methane. Chemical formula is CH4. You got carbon in the middle, one, two, three, four hydrogens. Now, if you recall from an earlier episode from uh, chapter 2A, where we talked about basic chemistry, um, is that carbon has one, two, three, four valence electrons. It would like to have eight, the octet rule. Hydrogen is one of the weird ones. It only likes to have two in its outer shell. It only has one. So as they share all these bonds, these covalent bonds, everybody's happy. Two for hydrogen, two for hydrogen, two for hydrogen, two for hydrogen. And then we have eight for the carbon. Everybody's stable and happy. Okay? Here's another way that you can draw a hydrocarbon. Basically, you can draw it like this. And we'll just put three in here. And then there would be a hydrogen here, hydrogen, 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 and hydrogen. Uh, here's another model over here. This one has double bonds. If you look right here. That would be a double bond. This is benzene. It's a ring of hydrocarbons. It's a, it's a hydro, hydrocarbon ring. Let me say it that way. All right. So it has one, two, three double bonds. And remember, in a double bond, you are sharing four electrons because a single bond is only two electrons. All right. So remember, hydrocarbons is only made out of carbon and hydrogen. Now, hydrocarbons are pretty boring. I want you to think of they're like the vanilla ice cream of when it comes to chemistry. Now, if you ever go to like a Baskin Robbins or a Cold Stone Creamery, you probably just don't order vanilla ice cream. You're going to get vanilla ice cream with something mixed in it. Chocolate chips, Heath Bar, strawberries, chocolate, whatever. You're going to mix something in it to give it some more flavor. Well, when it comes to hydrocarbons, it's the functional groups who add flavor or new properties to the hydrocarbon. Now, there are lots of different um, functional groups, but you have to memorize three of them, and they're listed here in this table. So let's add some information here. Okay, so over here we have name. This here is the formula, so this column. And this would be the special property. And then this would be examples of uh, compounds who have it. All right, the first one is called a hydroxyl. Remember that hydroxide ion from our acids and bases episode? So its formula is OH. It's going to be polar because remember, oxygen is the electron hog. So this would be negative and that would be positive. So the oxygen will be slightly negative, the hydrogen would be slightly positive. And all alcohols are going to have hydroxyls, but a lot of them do. Hydroxyls are very common. Think of like carbohydrates. Um, um, alcohols have it, and you're also going to find them on a lot of the diff in different parts of a nucleic acid, so on and so forth. Okay, an amino group. You're going to find these in amino acids. They're the amino part of an amino acid. Their formula is NH2. If you were to draw it, it would be an N with a hydrogen going this way and another hydrogen going that way. They act like a base, so they're basic. And as I said before, you're going to find these in amino acids. And remember, amino acids are found in proteins. A carboxyl group has the formula of COOH, but if you draw it, you've got a carbon, 
that's double bonded to an oxygen, and the fourth carbon bond is an OH group. Now, do not get confused. This right here is not a hydroxyl group. Because it's attached to this guy, it's part of the carboxyl. Now, this behaves as an acid. You're going to find this is the acid part in an amino acid and in a fatty acid. So amino acids, remember, that's part of a protein, and fatty acids are part of lipids. So let's go over this again. We need to know three different functional groups. Hydroxyl group, which is an OH. It's polar, and you find it in alcohols, among other things. Second one is an amino group. It's NH2. can be drawn this way. It acts like a base. You find it in amino acids, which are used to make proteins. A carboxyl group, COOH, you draw it like this. It's acidic, and it's the acid part of an amino acid and of a fatty acid. So there you go. So until the next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side.